you see how big the uh, the cab is? The acorn must be so big. But uh, we're not coming uh, the right time, so um, all the leaves is already falling down. Uh, we have to really like dig through this to find it. But still plenty of them, and uh, quite easy to find. What you need to do just like like uh, like this. Like uh, yeah, see, they're just here and. Just have to take through the mud and the leaves. Plenty of them. <laughs> you can see this one. Um, I think it's some wild animal, probably chipmunk or squirrel by open it. Um, inside there's the nuts. We want this. Before opening the acorns, rinse them thoroughly under the running water. Then open them with the nutcracker. Save the rashes and discard the hard shells. Next, add a handful of acorn freshes in the blender. Fill it with some water. Process it until the nut is totally fine. Pour the mixture on a double cheesecloth or an old t-shirt. Squeeze out the yellowish liquid. It contains tannins and tastes bitter. We want to get rid of it. Keep running the ground nuts under the water and squeeze out the bitter liquid. Until the liquid comes out clean, it is alright. Next step, add the acorn powder in the non-sticking pan. Over medium heat, toast it until it becomes totally dried, turns slightly brown and fragrant. Turn off the heat and let it cool completely. This powder we call acorn meal. In a big mixing bowl, combine the flour and the acorn meal. Add cold butter cubes and a pinch of salt. With your fingertip, combine the butter with the mixture until the butter becomes pea size. Add maple syrup. Then roll the mixture into a sticky dough. Divide the dough into about 30 grams each, roll it into a ball, and slightly press it down on parchment paper. Bake them at 360 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. And they are done. These delicious cookies become our breakfast the day after. I shared this cookie with my whole class in school, and everyone loves them. I hope you will also try out this recipe someday. Thanks for watching! Please check out the ingredients below. See you next time!